Some of you may recognize these little animals from my other videos. These are actually TV antennas marketed by the Astro TV Antenna Company. I've been slowly collecting these for a few years now and I just happen to have scored another one. Actually, I got this uh, a couple months ago. I just never got around to doing video on it. I figured this would be a good a time as any. When I got the Siamese cat, it came in this box, which is kind of beat up. Well, this one also came in a box. It's in even better condition, and it's got the original paperwork inside. So here are all the various models they made. So I've got the Springer Spaniel. Uh, I've got the beaver, uh, I've got the Siamese cat, and I got the basset hound, and this I believe is the black version of the cocker spaniel. I had a puzzle over this for a while on eBay though, because it looked to me just like the basset hound, and they are awfully similar, but if you put them side by side, they are subtly different. Alright, so there it is, and here's the Basset Hound, so you can see they're slightly different. Now these are not exactly very good antennas, they just look kind of silly, so I've been collecting them over the years. And here is the paperwork. Now that art performs all others. I really don't think so. There's not much inside these. It's really just a, a wooden dowel with a couple pieces of aluminum on it. Here are the easy installation instructions. I do find it kind of funny that with all the animal models, they don't make a rabbit. And maybe that was intentional because they do say, no, no more rabbit ears. But I think it would have been appropriate if they had a rabbit. But, oh well. And all the stuff about <laughs> shockproof, unbreakable, washable, again, I'm very dubious of that. These are made of thin plastic with what's called flocking which is like a really fine felt material that's like sprayed onto them electrostatically or something and uh, I guess they coat the plastic with some adhesive first and uh, but, uh, somehow this stuff is sprayed onto them and it sticks on there and you can see it wears off fairly easily I can't imagine you could wash these and they wouldn't completely fall apart here's a little cutaway diagram that shows the internal construction so, oh, I, I misspoke. It's a wooden dowel, two pieces of metal, and a resistor in between the two. <laughs> and uh, that's where they used to be located, down in Florida. I'm not sure about the year, but I would guess uh, maybe late 50s. Well, hey, if, if anybody sees any of these anywhere, I guess what I'm down to is the French Poodle and the Boxer and the Cats.